Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, I want to bring the Game Boy Advance back here to the channel and do this quick unboxing. I recently picked this one up and I just wanted to see, is this thing worth picking up in 2022? So let's take a close look at it and let's talk about it. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. Some time ago, I picked up this Game Boy Advance complete mint in box or mint good condition. And the reason I picked it up, because for me, the Game Boy Advance does have like some special fun memories. Because this is my last system that I ever got when it came with the handhelds. Like I say, I grew up with the Game Boys and all the other ones, but this particular one was like the final one I bought brand new when it just came out. Okay guys, so first of all, I grew up with the Game Boy Classic and I must say like looking at it back now, oh man, like this display is so horrible and I'm happy that we do have like the upgrades. Maybe in the future we'll take a close look at some custom Game Boys and just to see how that experience is. But I played so much on this device and I have still like, I really can enjoy these games. Think about where you land, like stuff like that. It's so much fun to play. And I think these games are absolutely like nostalgia, but timeless, like you can always play them despite like the display looks horrible now. But let me know in the comments, like what is your favorite game to play on the Game Boy? And what is the Game Boy that you grew up with? Is it like the original classic one or is it actually like another one like the Pocket or the Color? Okay, so next up we had of course the Game Boy Pocket, but then we had the Game Boy Color. And the reason I have the Game Boy Color is that basically this is the basically old one we had back in the day. It's like one of the few systems I still own. It's pretty damn cool to have it in the collection. Yeah, the Game Boy Color is absolutely like my biggest jump to the next generation. I skipped the Pocket because I really didn't care about it. And yeah, what I do like about the system that the games were a little bit better, like not like a big improvement like we didn't like we have now nowadays. But this was just like a minor step up. We have like this black card, which is also like the translucent version. And we had freaking colors. Like there was such a flabbergasted thing. I saw it, I was more like, wow, this is really good. The only downside is we didn't have backlights. And of course here we have like very cool, like upgraded models nowadays. But again, like the color, I loved it. It was not that bulky like the original one. And it was such a great experience back in the day. Okay, so I had a brain fart. And what do you mean with the brain fart? So this is basically one of those like original colors. But the brain fart with mine is, is like, uh, yeah, I bought this thing. I was like, okay, I want to do this unboxing with you, my Wicked family. And if you're thinking who's Wicked family, is why when you subscribe to this channel, you're basically becoming one of my Wicked family or like Mario says, Wicked family. And the reason I just want to do this unboxing, I think it's such a lot of fun. And the brain fart is like, I didn't own a purple model. I can still remember like I was in the store and I was more like, okay, which color should I pick? Let's pick yourself the black color. I just wanted to have something else. So basically that is the brain fart of today that I realized like, oh crap, I, yeah. <clears throat> I owned in a different color, but it doesn't matter. I just want to power it on and just have like a chit chat with you about it. Like, what do we think of it now in 2022? Like, especially the original one. So I think it's pretty damn cool to have one complete unbox. It's absolutely a piece of nostalgia and Oh man, I, I love these things. So I didn't even notice it before because this is really like an unboxing. I didn't unbox it before. Okay, so what you can see over here that this guy bought it from the free record shop. So free record shop is at this moment like not a physical shop anymore or they like fused with another company. But in the end, like what you're gonna see over here, I think this was euros. So that was the valuta we're having over here. So we did like pay 19% tax and he paid like around 95, 96. So let's say around like 96 euros. So it's quite interesting to see. He did got some discount on the Game Boy. I have no idea why this is. Let's see, it's just like, this is the city where it was from, Maastricht. That was basically where the part of the Dutch seller or Dutch collector bought it from the seller. And let's see, like you can trade it, blah, 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 some days information. But that's pretty cool. Like that still got the original receipt in it. Okay, so that came with, of course, with the manuals, not the toilet stuff that we have like with the Chinese crap nowadays, like real nice manuals. So let's see what we do get here. The Dutch version and this is the English version. But that's basically what we're going to get. Like it even shows like what you can do with it. Like here we have like some multi-link options. I really like loved it. I played like a lot of the link systems with Tetris with a couple of people. Oh man, like so cool. So cool to revisit this. So let's see what's inside more. Yeah, some warning, stuff like that. That's it, like that's the only thing that we're going to get. 
So let's boot it up and let's talk about the Game Boy Advance. Okay, so the Game Boy Advance, I think it was like the next level. Like when you had like the upgraded model for me, like the Game Boy Pocket, but especially the color. Yeah, that color spot, it was more like a model. It was slimmer, it was more compact and it was more easy to bring with you than this bulky big of a brick thing. But what I liked about the Game Boy Advance, even now in 2022, and I think it's still worth picking up. There are so many good games. It was not like a one-on-one -on -one copy of the Super Nintendo back in the day. They called this thing the 2 to 2 bit system. But when you're looking at the graphical part, it was absolutely like amazing what you can do with it. Like the games were so cool. So let's boot it up. Let's see if it's going to boot up. Yep, it's going to boot up. Sometimes you need to clean the cartridges before that. But this is one of those shmup games I picked up and I love myself some shmups. This was graphical wise, not like very interesting. Like it was just okay looking game itself. But when you're looking at the background, it was absolutely like something I had back in the day on my Mega Drive, Super Nintendo. It was a, such a big improvement. But the thing is with the Game Boy Advance, I guess I remember I got quite a lot of games, I think like 15 of them. But after some time, I went into the PC gaming. So what you're going to get with me is like, I didn't like play a lot with my Game Boy Advance. And I can, I can still remember that I think I traded it. I think I traded it with somebody for some other PC parts. If you think about it, it's absolutely car like crazy if you that I did this. But yeah, that was basically how it is. Oh, and I'm happy to have it back in my collection. Okay, so what I like also about the Game Boy Advance, there was something else, something you won't expect. The backwards compatibility, something that is not common nowadays. We could play so many cool things on this. We can even play your original Game Boy Classic games. You know? And that was what I really liked about the Game Boy Advance. This was like the ultimate system. You can buy it. You can even like put them in different, let's say, position like widescreen, original 4x3. I think it's the same resolution like the original one. Doesn't even matter. The point is like we could play all of our games. So if you have like a library of Game Boy Classic, you have a, like a library of Game Boy Advance, you can just play them all. And how cool was that? So this thing, I absolutely love it. Like there were so many cool things you can buy for it. And I think the Game Boy Advance is even in 2021, like still an amazing system. But nowadays, like this thing is absolutely cool. So for example, I had this like Game Boy Advance that I, I think I reviewed, but also picked it up a couple of, I think it's now already like a year or years ago. Like now we have like the new version of Funny Plane. And that is something I want to bring back to the channel. And it's absolutely cool to see like what you can do nowadays. We have like these freaking like custom editions. There are batteries in here. And we're having like these freaking IPS 2.0 displays. That's an amazing viewing angle. And that brings us like to the next level. I wish we had this back, the, back in the day because this would be so flabbergasted. This would be like the next level. Of course, the technology was not there. But it's so cool like to see what you can do with it. So if you're going to play the shmup game now, it's going to be looking so much better. And this thing is like super bright. It still works on batteries. I know like there are upgrade kits out there with lithium batteries inside that you can just basically plug in a micro USB and charge it up. I don't know what's going on here, but <laughs> I love it when stuff like have this happens in the, in the videos. <laughs> but when you're looking at the game now, it's absolutely amazing. This is, in my opinion, the ultimate way to play. What I do notice with these, let's say, different shells, because basically the, it's an original main board, but it doesn't different screen. It's a different like different shell with buttons and membranes underneath. It plays a little bit differently, not in a bad way, but just plays differently like an original Game Boy. I did review a couple of custom ones and you can just feel sometimes that we do have like different d-pads and it gives you like a slightly different experience but this is so cool and this in my opinion such an ultimate way to play so what's maybe fun to basically mention on this like we do have like a lot of other ways to play so one of those things that i reviewed many years ago is this 369 in one like a multi-game card and i must say like this thing is so naughty but also so wicked because this thing is like and wicked not in a good way because it's so like bad there are so many oh. <laughs> do that again there are so let's say many like double games on this it's absolutely garbage it'll like, give you like a quick look on this is it okay it's fitting so with this multi-game card a lot of fellow creators did a video about it and it's so bad like you can see like there are like a lot of pokemon games and that's not absolutely true like there are a lot of double games on this and there are like, only a couple of like gba games and all the other ones what you're going to get are just like your it's typical, let's say, NES games. 
yeah so that's basically what you're going to get with a cartridge like this but i just want to briefly mention that, like it was so weird i like obscure stuff that you can buy for your Game Boy advance nowadays and of course what i don't need to forget is like of course we know like multi-game cards they have been around for a very long time we do have like these ultimate like easy flash omega so what you're going to get is a flash card that you can play a lot of things with and do you know what i'm realizing i'm just going to show you the box oh there's something inside here yeah okay so it even comes with some extra plastics there's not in the box but you can just also use it for a nintendo ds you can plug this bad boy in and you can just basically add your files to it and you can just play this way makes basically these multi-game cards completely like pointless if you ask me but what i really like about it is that you do have to have the option to play some game boy classic advanced color and of course having the nes and you can see like the save directory so it seems to me that even like have making save function possible with some of the games so when you look at this like it's absolutely amazing so in that case we can even play some nes on the go in combination with some like say classic games 32-bit games Crap. Crap! Run for it! <laughs> They're coming for me. <sighs> but nowadays we live in a great time where we have so many options to play when it comes to original hardware. And also when you want to plug in like a multi-game card or you want to have like your fresh card. There's so many freaking ways. And also in my opinion, very affordable ways. It's absolutely amazing and I think it's just absolutely like... <laughs> Okay, but I went a little bit off topic with this video, but just wanted to give you like some other options that we have nowadays. So the Game Boy, I still have fond memories with it. I'm just gonna be honest, like this is like having like the less, I say fond memories because I didn't have like that experience with it. I did play a lot on it. Like I'll think about the Mario games, of course. And when you're looking at Mario Kart, it's still one of my favorite games to play on the Game Boy Advance. Yeah, this is basically an amazing system at school, like absolutely like the next generation and what I love about it, and basically like the products they released back in the day. It were like step up and we grew up with it. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite system, what is your, let's say, system you grew up Did you grow up with the Game Advance, the Color, the Pocket I don't have here, or the Classic? Let me know in the comments and it would be great to see you in the next video.